All right, let's solve this differential equation. Let's see, what do we have? y double prime plus 4 prime plus 4y equals a 0. Now, there's nothing on the right-hand side, homogeneous, so that makes our life a lot simpler. So let's go ahead and find our character characteristic equation. There it is, r squared plus 4r plus 4 equals 0. Make sure you don't accidentally put an r here too, just because there's a y, okay? So only a 4 here. Now let's go ahead and find our root. I wrote it over here in a broken up, so we can see why it gives us this. r plus 2 on the square, so from here we can tell r1 and 2 will be equal to each other, and therefore, and that's going to be negative 2. These are real numbers, so all we have to do is go ahead and plug it into our formulas. When we have real numbers, all we have to do is remember that we're going to have some kind of solution with e to the some kind of power that involves this right here, right? So, take the first one, r1 equals negative 2. That's going to give us y1 equals e to the lambda t. And lambda is my negative 2, so e negative 2 t. That's all there is. Now, second one, r2, again, negative 2. Both roots are the same. Now, y2 is going to give me pretty much the same thing here, but we do not want the same thing. So for this one, when this occurs, we have to make sure that we put, we put another t in front of our e lambda t. If we would have a third root, then we would have to put for the second one the t, and for the third one t squared e lambda t. So, doesn't matter how many roots you have, you just keep adding more t's in front of it to make sure that none of your y's, y1, 2, 3, 4, whatever, will never be equal to each other, okay? So, that's what's happening here. e negative 2t with the t in the front right here. So, to finish it up, our solution is y equals y1 plus y2 right here, plug it in. And just make sure you don't forget that we need to add a constant in front of it. So, c1 times y1 and plus c2 times y2. And there it is. Pretty short.